Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is just a very brief overview about getting your teeth straightened when you are over 50. I have struggled with my teeth for most of my life, all of my life really. Um, since I was very, very young, I first of all had my two front, front teeth smashed when I was around about um, 10 or 11. And that was just a silly school ground accident. And then they put these temporary caps, they called them at the time, on my two front teeth until I was old enough to have permanent crowns. The permanent crowns I had were really poor. They were kind of the stuff that they did in the very early 80s, the late 70s. I'm trying to figure out where how old I was in the late 70s. Yeah, so 1979, 1980. This was when I was having to have my dental work done. And unfortunately, they did drill a lot of enamel away. I also had a lot of teeth removed. During that period of time, dental work in the UK was, well, it kind of left quite a bit to be desired. They, there seemed to be this kind of culture of removing healthy teeth um, in order to straighten a smile. Whereas today, they don't remove so many teeth. They actually address the problem with a lot more technology. And I guess they have a lot more knowledge in how to adjust and to straighten teeth. Unfortunately, I was on the receiving end of what I consider, and I've had this actually um, justified, that I had too many teeth removed and very poor dental health work and care. Really, really not for the want of my parents trying to get me the help, but actually it was more down to the bad practice that was available at that time on the NHS in the UK. Now, fast forward, to get hitting my 30s and my 40s, my teeth started to move considerably. And this is quite normal as you age, your mouth and your skull changes and definitely your teeth do move. If I go back a bit, I did have braces from the ages of 14 to around about 16, but I had a horrible mouth infection when I'd gone on a school trip to Paris. Um, which resulted in me having emergency dental treatment because my braces were literally eating into my gums and I had to have them removed in order to get better from this awful infection that I had picked up. So my braces probably weren't on for as long as they needed to be. However, it, it, they were fairly straight by the time I had finished my dental work as a teen. When I got older, I did have the wisdom teeth problem. They were removed. And as I said, when I hit my 30s, my teeth literally were having a free for all. <laughs> they looked really bad. Now, as a teacher and as an aesthetician, working in the beauty industry, standing in front of very large groups of people, teaching and lecturing, I was increasingly getting very, very conscious or self-conscious of my smile. But I am quite a smiley person and I do tend to be quite animated. So, you know, I just got on with it. However, during the pandemic, everybody was wearing masks and I figured this was the perfect time to do something about my smile. Because obviously you didn't need to see the dentist every single week. You know, you could go eight weeks without having to see the dentist and everybody's wearing masks anyway perfect opportunity to get my teeth straightened. I researched so many different options and also did look at getting the all of them because I needed front uh, sorry top and bottom addressing going to Turkey to get a glamorous Hollywood smile. Now that would entail going over there, staying in a hotel, going to a clinic in Turkey. I did my research. I had spotted and decided on this one particular dentist whose work looked sensational. Um, but it did involve drilling down my natural healthy teeth. And I, it was just a price I wasn't willing to pay when it came right down to it. If I really thought about the long-term consequences of that, I just decided that it wasn't for me. Not because I feel that it is dangerous, 
but because I feel that drilling down healthy teeth just wasn't necessary when I could have fixed braces, which of course are going to take a long time, but I'll get into that in a bit, um, and I could still have my own teeth. So that was my decision. So then I set about looking for a dentist, an orthodontist that could actually do the procedure of the fixed braces and all the other bits that were needed, like the hygienist. And I will need crowns because these are crowned and I have another crown at the back here at some point. So I wasn't an easy case. I was quite a complicated case. And something that I didn't take into account was that when you are 50 plus, bone density changes. You know, we've got everything else going on, lines, wrinkles, joints, pains, collagen loss. But when you hit menopause, especially for a woman, our bone density changes. And when that, when you think that you've actually got to move your teeth in your bones, which is of course your, your jaw bone, the mandibular and all of that thing that's going on, you actually have to consider that your teeth could become loose because that's another issue. So I had to really think about the dentist that I was going to choose. And I went into London. I had quotes with a few different dentists and one in particular I thought I was set on. But the quote came into nearing upwards of 15,000, so north of 15,000 pounds. And it just sent like a lot of money but I was willing to spend that kind of money to get the right dental care and the right treatment. I pulled back a little bit. We had to move during the pandemic, or we didn't have to, but we moved during the pandemic, and we moved down to the southeast coast near Brighton. And I just set about finding somebody locally because also having to go up to London a lot would have been, yeah, you know, it's a lot of commitment. I did eventually settle on this dentist who I've been incredibly pleased with. And he really did give me the pros and cons of moving teeth when you're 50 plus and what was actually possible. He has not over promised, but I do feel he is definitely over delivering on what I expected so far. So I had these braces fitted 12 months ago, almost to the day. And these are the Damon. They're kind of ceramic fixed braces. I'll come in close, sorry top and bottom. Now, when I first started, I just had the ceramic brackets and then the wire. Now I'm at a stage where there is fine tuning going on and I have these kind of, elast not elastics, these are springs on either side and also elastics now at the top. On the bottom, I just have the wire and the brackets. I have just come back from today uh, the, today's appointment. So I go every four to six weeks. Normally every four weeks he sees me very regularly because my teeth are moving quite quickly, which is great. But he, he is so, so careful. And obviously I'm really careful. I don't want to damage my teeth and I certainly don't want to rush the process. Um, today's appointment was particularly uncomfortable. Rewind. It isn't terribly uncomfortable having your teeth done and straightened. The hardest part actually is changing the elastics, the brace, the brace elastics, and if you lose a bracket, having that replaced. But today was quite a bit more uncomfortable because I had a lot more going on at the top. So I've had these, as I said, these elastics and these springs fitted. And today, my bottom ones really hurt when he did a few adjustments. Uh, apparently that's quite normal. If that is something that's happened to you, please let me know because I did feel like my, my tooth was gonna come out. It's like really painful. But I'm 12 months down this road and I cannot tell you the difference that it's made. Even with my braces on, I am a thousand percent more confident, so confident that I've started this YouTube channel, whereas I have wanted a YouTube channel for so long, but I've put it off because, uh, well, I'll tell you a little secret. I did do a couple of videos and I had some awful comments about my teeth, as if it was, you know, my fault that my teeth were crooked and there was something wrong with my dental hygiene. There definitely wasn't. 
It was just a massive undertaking. But that did knock my confidence. And I did think, you know what, maybe YouTube's not for me. But it is for me, and braces are for me, and I have literally felt so much more confident. I don't care if people are looking at my teeth anymore, and they do. You know, people do look at my teeth, and then I say, oh yeah, you know, I've got braces, or they may ask, they may say, you know, oh, you've got braces, and I'm like, yep, 53 years old, I decided to change something I wasn't happy with. And that, my friends, is the big takeaway here. You are never, ever too old to change something that you're not happy with. Whether that is your teeth and you want to have braces or perhaps you want to go to Turkey and have crowns. All I want to say here is just do your research, but don't put it off. Don't feel that you've gone this far. You know, that's another story that I used to tell myself. Oh, you know what? I've lived until I'm 53, 52, whatever. Why do I need to have that done? Well, the fact of the matter is, I've wanted to have my teeth straightened for so many, all of my life, and this was the right time for me. So in total, the total cost having this done was 5,000 pounds. Now, I paid that off on a 0% loan that was through the dentist, paying that off monthly, and now that's already cleared off. It includes all of my dental work. It also includes my hygienist appointments, every, you know, my monthly appointments, any concerns. I'm literally, if I've got an emergency or I'm a little bit frightened about something or worried about something, I can go down there and he'll see me straight away. It also includes retainers afterwards and whitening, and I think quite a few appointments post-treatment as well. So, that's a very quick overview of why I decided to get braces at 53. It literally was a lifelong wish to get my teeth straightened for one reason or another. I hadn't gone down that road. A little bit of fear because I was a little bit frightened of previous dental treatments and the experiences that I'd had. Um, but now that I've made that decision, now I'm 12 months down this road, I, my goodness, why didn't I do it sooner <laughs> is the question. Well, I didn't and I'm doing it now. So I hope that that helped any of you that are thinking about any kind of dental work at all, whether it's straightening your teeth, getting that crown fixed, you know, maybe you've got a root canal, maybe you've got bleeding gums, whether you've got, you know, wobbly teeth, anything. It's never too late to make a positive change. That's my message today. Um, I can't think of anything else to tell you other than it's incredible journey. They move really quickly. The first three months, I didn't see a massive change. And then suddenly I thought they were looking worse before they look better. You kind of go through an ugly duckling stage. And then suddenly they do start to come together. And it was sensational. And as I said, so far, it's the best decision that I have ever made. And it's the best gift that I've ever gifted myself. And that's it. So I hope that helped. Thank you for watching and I will chat to you very, very soon. Bye for now. Loser,